Hi guys, in today's video we are going to talk about caching images in your Android Studio project. That way your user doesn't have to download the same, uh, same image over and over again and you can save some data as well as increase the speed and fluency of application. So let's start with creating a new project, giving it some name and selecting an empty activity. So I'm going to name it caching. Select the minimum SDK you want your app to run on. Click on finish and just wait for the project to load. And for the caching we are going to use a library called Picasa. It's a good library that takes care of all the caching for us in the background. So we don't have to deal with anything and just load the image. And the library will do things on its own. Open the build gradle file and add the dependency there. Sync the project. And let's create a simple UI. So we will just have one image view and one button to change the image. So let's create linear layout and an image view and a button. And first we have to uh, specify orientation of our linear layout. So it's gonna be vertical and the gravity is gonna be center. Now let's specify an image view with the, uh, with the width of made, uh, match parent and height of for example, for under DP. Now we want our scale type to be center crop, and we want to have we want to have some ID on the image view. We're gonna call it main image, for example. Now we also need a button with the width of wrap content and height of wrap content and text of change image. We also need to specify an ID as well, so it's gonna be main button. Perfect, now head over to the code and let, let's initialize these two things. So the first thing is an image view and the second thing was button. Now make sure to import these two classes. Let's initialize these buttons and image view. Same thing goes for the button. And we need to create, create an onclick listener where we are going to change image all the, uh, all the time when the user clicks on the button. I'm gonna store my images in an array list, but you can use for example Firebase or some other database to load your images, it's completely fine. And I have already downloaded three images that I found before. So I'm gonna just paste the code here so I don't have to type it manually. Okay, it's gonna be like images. Now we need to create some kind of counter. So we will create an integer i that will be zero. And we will just check if it's smaller than the size of our array. And if it is, we are going to load an image. If it's not then we are going to reset the count and start over again. And we are just going to copy the syntax for loading in images to our image view from the Picasso website. And we want to load image from our array. And also make sure to import the class and we want to load the image into main image. Now increase the counter and let's make else statement. So if it's not smaller than the size of the array, minus one, then we want to reset the count at the end. Perfect. Now don't forget to open a manifest 
and out running fast and we need to allow our application access to the internet so we can fetch the images online so we need to use permission to access the internet now when we run the code it should be working and just don't forget to load an image the first one without tapping the icon sorry the button so we want to load an image and the first one okay now let's try to run the application and let's see what it does so our, our app has started and now let's see if we click on the change image button the image will change okay so the images are changing and now the app is working on the cached versions because after the first load of the image a copy will get created in a cache and we don't download these images over and over again. That way you can save the data and you can save the time of the user and make your app more fluent and the user experience better. So thank you for watching and see you in the next videos. I hope you liked this one. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel or liking the video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them all. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.